you maybe share some examples in your client work? If you don't have to name the company, that's fine, you know, but just kind of tangible, successful use cases where you worked on brand strategies, right? When you help businesses to grow, yeah, where AI yeah, examples, yeah. which we can share because we all live by, yeah. you know, thriving, interesting yeah, 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 cases. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I think, I mean, there's so many, everything that we do in marketing now is, is, driven by technology, even from Photoshop, right? So even the images that we create, whether it's stock images, we, we um, customize them to, to make them look more bespoke. Um, so there's lots of technology that goes around um, video, as you know, from editing to uh, customization. Um, you have your creative imagery um, you have multiple tools that go into to getting images and graphics to look right. Um, then in terms of pushing out the content that you want to go um, to, to grab audiences, you have multiple, whether it's social media, there's multiple tools that you can use to push out your um, content there. Um, in terms of email, um, you have multiple automation tools, and then you even have automation tools that will take all of your different um, channels and combine all of the uh, push into one tool. Um, so you can have um, sequences, automated sequences that are um, triggered based on behavior, based on actions, based on segmentation. So everything that you do is is in in marketing now involves uh data and technology there's nothing that you can do without either one or both somehow this is not surprising right we <laughs> read about we some of us more experienced right hands-on we see the impact immediately right on the customer insights and just seeing the audience right what audience is reacting to or not reacting right yeah so let me ask you this about the decision making now all right because yeah. getting insights in my mind is easy all right with all the yeah. platforms and prol proliferation of tools how yeah. are, are you as a CMO, CEO, right, in both roles sometimes, how do you make decisions based on which insights you take seriously, which one, because we cannot be taking actions on everything we see in the digital world, right? What's the kind of yeah. strategic thinking, yeah, yeah, out there? Mm -hmm. um, so it depends on the size of your company, um, how, what tools you have access to. So you can go very basic um, and look at what I call vanity metrics, you know, clicks, likes, shares. Um, that's, you know, if you don't have anything else, that's good to start off with. Uh, I think it's really easy to see how many shares you have, what's resonating out there. Um, and then you can go a little bit further, right? So you can go into sales, revenue, um, and more transactional data. Um, and that. It's where it gets more complicated, where you have attribution involved. And so that requires more um, advanced tools. So you could do anything from Google Analytics um, to more um, complicated um, measures, like for example, intent. Um, you can actually start digging into um, how many people are interacting with you. Are they interacting with their competitors? or your competitors and um, start identifying people early on in their research. So um, that's where SEO becomes important and getting out, um, getting out the content that you want to attract them in, right? So with the shares and the likes, you are starting to understand what trends or what people are interested in. With the transactions, you're starting to see um, what makes them take an action and then you, you start looking at intent that's in between those two. And you start thinking about how can I start influencing people before they're even in the buy de decision. So then you start getting into behaviors, um, behavioral psychology, and some, some really interesting um, areas where you can start influencing how um, people react and behave. Um, 
And when I say influencing, I, I think of it in terms of education um, and helping them make a better decision for themselves. Uh, hopefully, whenever you're you're influencing people, you're you're doing so truthfully, honestly, authentically. Um, that will ensure that they come back to you, right? So you can make one sale, um, and that's a win. But if you can't bring them back and you can't keep that relationship, it's all for naught. You're not going to have a successful business. Um, so you know it's just as important to attract people in, um, and you use the metrics to do that um, from all the way from clicks, likes to sales, conversion, transactions, average sales price, and it, everything in between from segmentation, where, where where are they playing, to churn. And you start thinking about, are they coming back? Am I keeping them? Um, and then customer lifetime value. Um, am I expanding my relationship with them? How long are they staying with me after I bring them in? Um, so there's a number of different tools, dashboard metrics that you do, um, depending on where you are in um, the buyer's journey.